Ash vs. Evil Dead, Season 1, Episode 2, Thoughts. This episode is called Bait. So, spoilers for everything Evil Dead franchise up to and including this episode, another episode I love. Let's dive right in. So, yeah, Kelly points out Ash is not being very humble. And, yeah, he's still using duct tape, like, in the movies. And he doesn't think they should go to Kelly's place. And, yeah, Roper shows up. Is he named after the film critic? Was it R Richard Roper? I mean, there's a there's precedence for, for that sort of thing, putting critics in, in movies and TV shows and then, like, humiliating them. So, yeah, I guess that's entirely possible. And, yeah, so Kelly leaves on Pablo's bike, and Pablo claims, as we later find out, you know, we later realize it wasn't true. Supposedly, Kelly took the book, which... I appreciate because that, yeah, Ash would not have left if not for that. And the, the, you know, yeah, Pablo wants to save Kelly. And it is the kind of thing, you know, I don't know if it's the most credible lie because Kelly has not seemed particularly... Like, she doesn't really seem to believe in in this thing, at, at this point in the story. However, Ash is gullible as fuck. Like, you could sell, like, magic beans to this guy. You know, like, he, so, so, yeah. The, you know, he, he makes the, the non-PC joke, you know, oh, you know, all chicks are like that. You know, he, he has such a low opinion of women that he's easy to fool for, for Pablo. And, yeah, very cool when Roper turns out to be in the back of the car and they're fighting over the wheel. Because Roper is just one of many. Like, ultimately, if, you know, the, the, yeah, the thing that has possessed Roper doesn't usually have a body anyway. It doesn't care if a body that it's possessed is destroyed. We've seen that before. So, yeah, it's like, shit, I don't care if I have to, to kill this one, you know, you know, host body in order to take out Ash. You know, so just, yeah, that was really, really fun. Great, just great concept. And it's the kind of thing that fits in the universe, but they couldn't really have done in one of the movies, you know, on... In, in part because of budget. So, so yeah, great to see them do it here. And I... L there was, like, a second where it looked like, oh, next stab, that's it, that's what, you know. But as Pablo later says, you have to stab him, like, 50 times, you know. And the, he just keeps stabbing, 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 and the blood is, like, spurting out all over Ash and Pablo's faces. Just, yeah, that was a lot of fun. And then, you know, it cuts... And and they're they're driving and and Ash is like determined and Pablo's just got this thousand yard stare. And let's see, yeah. And Amanda is you know further investigating, and <laughs> I quite enjoy how the the two retnecks that are still in the um yeah tra trailer camp. You know, they're like, well, you know, I'm, I'm not sure his name, but he was a real asshole to, to me and my, my wife and my kids. And honestly, everyone around here, <laughs> which absolutely checks out. Yeah, Ash is the biggest douche. And, yeah, and, they, you know, they talk about, ah, oh, you know, he brought back, you know, women and... Amanda's like, okay, yeah, judgmental asshole. You're you're a judgmental asshole. I get it, you know. But then, in you know the the kicker, she had a wrist tattoo, which Amanda's like, oh, that was definitely the one that I, you know, because it it fits. This looks just like the the you know, and it's close enough. This whole just yeah, and I'm pretty sure that's not the only place she had a tattoo. Thanks for sharing. That's very important information. And 
And Pablo's like, I'm, I'm really not sure a bottle is the best weapon. I mean, you had to stab Pablo, you had to stab Roper like 50 times. And, you know, okay, can we, can we do something about the blood? And is, is, yeah, that. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> I love that they're, you know, they're like, okay, we, we kick the door in, we, you know, we kick ass, we take names, we leave with the book, ready, go. And, you know, they, they bust in, ah, you know, chainsaw going, shotgun ready to fire. And they're just, it's just a family get together, you know, just, whoa, what's, that was very, very funny. And it's, yeah, it's this thing of, we've seen, we've seen not this exact thing before, but we've seen before that Deadites sometimes fool regular people into thinking that they're still human. Gotta say, Mimi Rogers does fantastic. Um, let's see. Yeah, I've seen her in something. Lost in Space... And Austin Powers one is that really it? Anyway, she does fantastic both as regular mom and deadite mom of, of Kelly. Just yeah, in incredible. She she really nails it. So far, everyone on the show really nails the the performances. You know, considering like it's really only Bruce Campbell and Sean. Ah, crap. You know what? This will not stand. I'll get her name real quick. Sean Davis are the only ones who've done Evil Dead before this. Who've acted Evil Dead before this. And... <laughs> yeah. Kelly has to try to explain things to mom and dad. And, you know, this is Pablo. He got me the job. This is Ash. Who I never thought I would have in my home, you know, just, yeah, that's, and I'm sure you're looking forward to getting back to your van house. <laughs> She's still got that biting wit. Yeah, this, this drawing is definitely him, but he looks dumber in person. And yeah, they don't, you know, she's like, does it matter? It matters. It's this typical American conservative thing of, ah, those rules won't help you if there's a zombie apocalypse. You'll you just you wait and see. And let's see, you know, as if in real life rules don't very frequently make things better, not worse. But yeah. Not all rules. Rules are meant to be understood and then considered if broken. And I love that you know so so yeah they're, they're you know they're they're in the in the trailer briefly to to you know freshen up you know we get the the detail that the book never left you know and you know never left with Kelly and there's apparently a little bit of gore in in Pablo's hair and you know Ash takes that ah oh, thank you. And then plops it down by the iguana or something, you know, and which just glops it up. It's just, yeah. Wow. And, which, again, you know, fits inside this universe. Not something we've seen before. And, let's see. Yeah, and, and Ash, Ash says, Pablo, I was like you once. Young, dumb, and full of Conflicting emotions. Yeah, that's. I'm sure that that was always where that sentence was going. Good, good save, Ash. And yeah, we get a dinner that you know it's not quite the drag me to hell dinner scene, but it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Just be nice. I'll be nice, right until I'm rude. And yeah, the the meat is served, and it is very bloody. And it's this sort of thing of like, I mean, yeah, some people do like, maybe not quite that bloody, but some people do eat meat very very bloody. And yeah, she's sitting there, she's like drooling blood, just yeah, very very cool. Really, it props to Mimi Rogers because it didn't look like it was it was fake. It looked like they actually put you know like uh, dyed. Um, uh, syrup in in her mouth, you know, stage blood in her mouth, 
and she's sitting there like letting it drip because it's it's uncomfortable. Like that's not something that we are are normally doing, and just yeah, you know, it feels wonderful to do. And yeah, he. <laughs> I quite enjoy his his interrogation. So, what's the plan? Well, you know, maybe read. What's your favorite book? <laughs> like, it's if an idiot was trying to to get it. Like, do you really, do you really think this is gonna work? Ash? Like, what what is your what is what is the thinking here? What is the logic? Because this is not how. You, just yeah, and eventually he just punches her and. Dad gets an eyeful full of fork. And love the gun cam. Like, I don't know who came up with the idea of attaching a camera to the end of the shotgun, but it was an inspired choice. And again, feels like something that you would see in Evil Dead. And yeah, Kelly goes off to, I guess, maybe her old bedroom or something. And we have a lullaby, which, you know... I feel like every, maybe not trilogy, maybe not uh, uh, the last part of the trilogy, maybe not Army of Darkness, but the other three, you know, the the first two and the remake all have a lullaby. Yeah, yeah, the, uh, no, yeah, yeah, the first one does, yes. And, you know, she finally, she, she turns and she says, there was no accident, or yeah, yeah. Let's see. I think yeah, but she she starts saying it before she her face turns. So there was no accident. I drove up on that bridge intentionally to get away from you. Just ugh. those those kind of you know really sadistic things that deadites say to the loved ones of host bodies. And yeah, we get some more fighting. Really tense when the the shotgun is being pointed. At that massive chin, which though it is voluminous, I don't think it is bulletproof. And yeah, very cool. You know, Pablo gets a, a big knife and just like buries it. So it's like sticking up out of the top of her head. And it's like, oh, I don't think that does. Nope, she's not dead. You know, that was, yeah, a lot of fun. And yeah, Ash manages to saw her middle and saw off her head. Love the, the, like her. The, because the, as, yeah, as the head is being cut off, let's see, I think, yeah, I think the, the Deadite is, like, super into it because they like pain. And, yeah, the trio agree to go on mission together. You know they were Jewish, right? I did not. I wish you'd have said something before I made these dumb crosses. <laughs> And, yeah, the camera, you know, cranes up, and we see the, the still thing, and it creaks and moves just slightly. Just, yeah, they're still out there. And we end on Amanda heading to the bookstore, which is it's quite clever, because she, you know, we saw her find the, the card for it, which he dropped, because he's kind of an idiot. And, you know, this is the kind of thing you kind of want to make sure nobody finds these kinds of things. Yeah. And, you know, while he and Pablo were, you know, yeah, trying to save Kelly, Amanda had time to, to travel to the bookstore, you know. So, yeah, very nicely done there. So, yeah, so some... Trivia for the episode on IMDb. At 10.46, the camera pans to Mimi Rogers' face. A fly is seen landing on her forehead, buzzing around her face. Flies are usually attracted to death and decay. Maggots feast on the decay of corpses. This is a subtle hint that Kelly's mom actually is a deadite. Not sure why the, where the maggot comes in. I feel like that was, that was just, just flexing, but fair enough. And, yeah, yeah, the duct taping, the duct taping bullet holes mentioned is likely a reference to Evil Dead 2013, in which the protagonists deal with various series wounds using duct tape. Well, I see we got a normie in here. Uh, yeah, that's kind of a thing in the trilogy as well, but sure, sweetie. And the, yeah, someone pointed out the, the nursery rhyme. 
lullaby thing. Yeah, Evil Dead 2 is the most prominent. The that uh, yeah, um, and and that's also where a possessed mother is singing it to convince her daughter that she's still human. You know, so yeah, that is the most clear. And let's see, I think. <laughs> Yeah, so, wow, someone, there's a lot of quotes from this episode in the, yeah. Um, okay, I'm just going to pick a really fun one to end this video on. So, let's see. The... Yeah, someone did, of course, add the young, dumb, full of. And, yeah, some of the whale stuff. And, <laughs> you're kind of like a young me. Deadites ruined your life, and you're hot as hell. And, let's see. Look, I get that you want to save your dad, but I'm trying to save all the dads everywhere. And the mommies and the babies. Why are you covered in blood? Um, we hit a deer on the way up here, and when I tried to pull it out of the grill of my car, the sucker just exploded all of us, so we had to cut it up with my chainsaw arm. I'm actually a hunter. I've never seen a deer explode. Well, maybe not. maybe you're not hunting the right deer. <laughs> 